So I was out here cutting watermelon and this was the last piece I had to cut, but Porter decided to just take it on himself and started biting into it. And so I decided he can just have the whole piece. That's fine. <laughs> I think I cut up uh, enough. We won't even eat all that. Is that good porch? Is that good porch? Is that yummy? It's so cute. Both my boys like watermelon. I like watermelon too. Anthony does not like watermelon. I've never met a person that doesn't like watermelon, but Anthony does not like it. I mean, it's mostly water, but he doesn't like it. I feel like I have not talked to you guys in so, so long. I've just been like in a lull with filming. We went on our vacation to Nashville and then I just haven't had like the feeling to even like pick up the camera since then um, and it's been a couple days since we've been back so hello sorry I haven't been vlogging a lot there's really not much that you've missed out on it is wedding week and we are headed tomorrow um, to Toledo for my brother's wedding they're finally getting married I feel like this date would never come because it's at the end of the summer a lot of people have already started back to school Grace doesn't start for another another couple weeks it doesn't start till after Labor Day but that is what we were doing this weekend. So we are packing, getting ready to travel again. I feel like we're always traveling. Well, just these two weekends in a row and then we're, we'll be home. So yes, we have the wedding coming up. Porter just dropped the watermelon. So it should be really fun. I will try to vlog a little bit here and there. I'm gonna be busy. I am a bridesmaid, so I won't be able to vlog too, too much but I'll show pictures and I'll take videos as much as I can. Um, unfortunately, we do have to drive because it's only like a two and a half hour drive. So it's not that bad, but unfortunately, Anthony has to work and then we have to leave after he gets off of work. So the boys will not like that. But we've all just been hanging out, eating watermelon. It's been actually really hot today, surprisingly. You wanna go to the front yard? Yeah. Okay. We got out the splash pad, but then nobody got in the splash pad. Hey, Bruce! Oh, he's still going at it. Still going at that watermelon. You get it, buddy! Hi! Porter has been so much more, like, interactive lately. This morning, I should have videoed it. We were, both boys were in Porter's crib, and I would tell Porter, na night Porter! And he would immediately sit down and then lay down, pretend to go na night, and it was so cute. Like, he was acting like a toddler. And then I made um, eggs for breakfast, and I was blowing on them to cool them before I give them to Porter, and he started copying me and blowing himself. So it was really cute. He's in a mimicking stage right now. I was like waving at him the other day and he was like waving back in his own special way. So it's really fun to see him get a little bit older. He's so close to being one. So now we're getting into that toddler stage. I've been seeing the toddler meltdowns for sure. He is gonna give me room for my money. He will give me little tantrums, um, little bits of frustration and anger, so should be interesting to see um how his toddler years go and then his uh, uh was it the terrible twos and then the three nager for us three is definitely harder than two at least with grayson so we'll see how it goes but yeah we're just hanging out trying to get to the wedding i feel like there's so many things that have gone wrong um, leading up to this wedding and there's still a couple more days for more things to go wrong. They do say with weddings, anything that can go wrong will go wrong and that just kind of seems like how it's happening. So hopefully it's just good news here on out. Um, it's just been really stressful the last week. So that's another reason why I really haven't picked up the camera because we've just been really stressed. So anyway, um, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So Grayson's backpack finally came in the mail. Show me your backpack. Oh, wow. And he insisted he wear baby shark costume today. But yes, I finally got it off Amazon. It's just got dinosaurs on it. I really like it because it's tiny, but still big enough to hold like papers and folders. And then um, it also has two side pockets so he can put his water bottle in there and whatever he needs to. So it's so cute. I wanted something that was like lightly, light colors and cute. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm gonna go to preschool baby shark. Are you gonna go to preschool baby shark? Yay! Yay! High five. High five, dude. 
Yeah. Portis and Portis room. He is in his room. Is he going to make a mess? <laughs> yeah. Wake up. Oh, no, no, Porter. No, no, Grayson. Wake up, Porter. Wake up, Grayson. Wake up. Oh, no, no. Wake up, Porter. Wake up, Grayson. Wake up, Porter. Wake up, Grayson. Oh, no, no, Porter. <laughs> You're being silly. Porter's in the crib and Grayson's in the crib. Yeah, you both are in the crib. Is that so fun? Porter's in the crib and Grayson's in the crib. Yeah. No, night, Porter. No, night. No, night. <laughs> so cute. You guys, we are back from wedding weekend and it was so much fun. I took a couple of videos and pictures, so I will insert them into the vlog. It was a long, long day. I was a bridesmaid in the wedding. Anthony was an usher. So us girls started the day off at 7 a.m. There were like 13 of us getting hair done and there were three people doing hair. So it took a while to get through everyone. Also, everybody was getting makeup done as well. They did airbrushing makeup. Never done that before, but it was really nice. And it, I liked the way it looked. Like it was very natural looking, which I don't usually wear a lot of makeup. So I really enjoyed that. So we all got ready. We got ready like in this cute little area by the reception um, and they use it like for getting ready and they're actually gonna turn it into a winery. So they're like growing their own grapes and stuff to make wine, I guess. It was really super pretty there. All of us got ready. We all got our dresses on. We did our like first look with Ellie, the bride, and she did her first look with her dad. And then we all got on this huge like 15 passenger van, went to the church. They got married at a church. It was really pretty. It was short. They didn't do the whole mass ceremony, which was really nice. Grayson, my son, was a ring bearer. 
So it was super, super cute. Um, he was dressed up in his little bow tie and he and another boy whose name was also Grayson, except it was G-R-A-Y instead of G-R-E-Y. Um, they walked down the aisle holding a sign that said like, here comes the bride or something. It was super cute. And so they had a little flower girl. And then me and my sisters and my brothers, we were all in the wedding. My brothers were best men um, and my sisters and I were bridesmaids. And then my husband, and then my sister's husband, so both the brother-in-laws were the ushers. So we all had a thing to do, and uh, or a job to do, and the wedding was really pretty, the ceremony was great, and then after that we took a party bus and went to a local park and did pictures, and so Anthony took a bunch of pictures of us bridesmaids, and it was really fun, it was very hot though, very hot. We were all excited to get back into the air-conditioned bus. So we had a great time, we were partying and blasting music and it was super fun. Then we headed to the reception which was in this barn in the area and it was really pretty. They like hung pretty decorations on the ceiling and lights and it was really amazing. The day was really hot but no rain at all so we had to get really pretty pictures. Um, it was a yummy dinner and we just danced the night away and it was just so much fun. It was stressful, I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> It was a lot of work, even though we weren't even really like in the planning side of it. It was just a lot of work and a lot of stress with like COVID and the pandemic and stuff, but it's over. They're on their honeymoon now. We are back in Columbus trying to get back to reality and recover from the wedding. I'm always sad when weddings are over because, you know, you build up so much time looking forward to it and then it's just over in an instant and then you're kind of like oh like I wanted to keep celebrating <laughs> but it's only a day but lots of things to look forward to fall is right around the corner Grayson's gonna start preschool um, lots of things going on and so it's just trying to get back into that mode of just regular life and getting back on track so thanks for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed all the little pics and videos that i was able to get of the ceremony and i'll see you guys next time bye